The last Microsoft Surface laptop teardown was seriously destructive, resulting in a repairability score of 0 out of 10. Today, we have the new $1,000 Surface Laptop 2 on our teardown table, and it doesn't look any different than its older sibling, but only a teardown will tell what's changed on the inside, so here we go. At first glance, we're met with the infamous Alcantara, aka the fancy felt that keeps all the sweat and dirt from your hands right at your fingertips. Doesn't that sound nice? We grab our eye opener and bust out a few picks to start carefully prying the fluff away from the keyboard. Along with some tough adhesive, the Alcantara layer is held in place by ultrasonic plastic weld joints. Sounds cool, but it's not. We might have done a better job of removing the Alcantara this time, but nothing inside this thing is user replaceable or upgradable since you have to break the first layer to get inside. With a little more help from our opening picks, we lift the keyboard away from the back case and pry off the shield protecting the keyboard cable. Next, we removed a shield and a few screws to free the fan and heatsink. Shields start popping off, and after removing a few torque screws, we were able to free the speakers. We tried to remove the SD card reader next, but it turns out you have to remove the display to get to that port. A few more torque screws later, and the display is free. This is a 13.5 inch pixel sense display with a resolution of 2256 by 1504 and a pixel density of 201 pixels per inch. The SD card reader comes out next, and there are a few screws and cables left to remove on the motherboard, and then it lifts right out. On the board, we find the Intel Core i5 processor along with 8GB of RAM, and we also spot 128GB of SK Hynix flash memory all soldered to the board. The battery is pretty much the only thing left in the bottom case. This is a 45.2 watt hour, 5,970 milliamp hour battery, which are the same specs as the one in the first Surface Laptop. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 2 was slightly easier to tear down than the Surface Laptop 1, but only because it hasn't changed much. Here's why it scored a 0 out of 10 for repairability. While we didn't damage the Alcantara this time, opening the device is still destructive, inhibiting any repairs. Modular components like the headphone jack are not easily accessible. The CPU, RAM, and onboard storage are still soldered to the motherboard. And finally, the battery is still difficult to access and is severely glued in place, giving the device a limited lifespan. 